Hey everyone, welcome to another After Effect tutorial, I would like to thank all of your love and support, it's mean lot for me, also it's helped to grow our channel, so today we are creating 3D ink drop slideshow effect, like this. So let's start it. As usual, first create a new comp, 1920 by 1080, 30 frame per second, change comp name main comp. Then create another new background comp. Then drag your first image into timeline. Resize image if required. Here we have some element in folder, open element folder and drag texture element footage into timeline, resize according to your comp. Then hit T for opacity and change opacity around 40%. Now create another comp. Called image placeholder. Drag your first image into timeline, resize image if required. Then select Rectangle Tool, double click for perfect rectangle. Fill color none, stroke width around 40px. Then select image make it 3D layer. And hit P for position, go to first frame and add a keyframe. And change Z position little closer to camera. Then go to 5 seconds forward and change Z position. Now go to the main comp and drag BG composition into timeline. And search tint effect and apply on BG layer. Then search fast blur effect. Check repeat edge pixels, blurriness around 30. Now go to project window and drag image placeholder composition into timeline above the BG layer. Select image placeholder comp layer hit S for scale and scale around 70%. Perfect. Then go to again element folder and drag matte horizontal footage into timeline. Then select image placeholder layer and change track matte, Lumu inverted matte. So that our effect looks like this, perfect it's look good to me. If you think your matte footage not enough for your timeline, select matte footage, right click go to time and enable time remapping. Now drag particle elements into timeline, and change blending mode normal to screen. Then drag plus footage into timeline, and change mode normal to screen. Then drag elements footage into timeline, and change mode normal to screen. Resize element footage, according to your choice. Also enable time remapping of the footage. And drag end point according to your timeline. Also move the last keyframe. I only want this text effect. So I am trim this footage by pressing ALT and right bracket. Then select element footage and duplicate them. And move second element footage, and place wherever you want. Then duplicate again and drag ahead of second element footage. 
and also place your text. Now go to project window and drag light leaks footage into timeline, scale footage size according to your comp size. And change blending mode normal to screen, and change opacity around 40%. Now select image placeholder comp player and search drop shadow. Change opacity around 80%. Softness around 80%. Distance around 60%. We need to change direction around 127. Softness around 123 and opacity around 70%. Now create a new text layer, type any text as you like and place wherever you want. Now drag watercolor stain footage into timeline. You find all footage link into description. Change text blending mode normal to luma matte. Again you can enable time remapping of watercolor stain footage. And move watercolor stain footage over to text layer. And scale watercolor stain footage if your text not fully visible. Now go to toggle switches mode and make 3D all of them. Now create a new camera, I am using 35mm preset camera, then select both text and watercolor stain layer, and parent with image placeholder layer. Now select image placeholder layer and hit P for position, go to around 1 second forward and change Z position little bit. And also change orientation, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change the position and orientation. Then select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. I am not going to tell any specific number, it's all depend on you, I am just showing you example, the choice is yours. You are free to play all of this amount, you and also offset the orientation key. Now select all layer and pre-compose them and change name scene 1. Now go to project window, and duplicate scene 1 comp and drag into timeline. Also duplicate image placeholder comp. And background comp. Then double click to open scene 2 comp, and select background comp layer, and replace with background 2 comp layer. Also replace image placeholder comp player with image placeholder 2 comp. Double click to open background comp player. And replace our first image with second image. And adjust according to your comp. Also enable time remapping of texture layer. Then open image placeholder comp layer, and replace the image. Hit P for position and delete the all position keyframes. 
resize image if required, then go to the first frame and add a keyframe, and change the Z position, around minus 250. Then go to around 6 seconds forward, and change Z position. You can also change the text, I am just typing my channel name, but you are free to type any name. Scale watercolor stain footage, if your text not fully visible. And you can also change the text position. Now we want to change the image placeholder animation, select image placeholder com player and hit P, then delete all keyframes. And add a new keyframes, and change the position. And also move the both keyframes on first frame. The go to around 1 second forward and change the position and orientation. Now select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. And also change the offset of orientation. Perfect. You can also add wiggle expression on image placeholder com player, wiggle bracket open dot 3, comma 30 bracket close. Copy this expression. And paste scene 1 image placeholder. Now go to main comp, and move scene 2 comp around 4 second forward. Then go to project window and drag transition horizontal footage into timeline. And move transition footage where our scene 2 comp player started. Then select scene 2 and change track mode luma inverted mat. Perfect, it's look good to me. We don't need extra part of scene 1 layer so trim the layer. Then go to around 8 seconds forward and set end point. Now our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.